Ciao a tutti, Marcello here. Let's examine the best tactical turn-based RPGs of the last two years, including some 2023 releases you should play too. Let's go! Troubleshooter Abandoned Children is an ambitious tactical role-playing game developed by the Korean studio Dandelion. Drawing inspiration from games like XCOM and Final Fantasy Tactics, Troubleshooter offers a complex story and rich content. Despite being the studio's first game, it has received positive reviews on Steam and continues to receive updates. The gameplay mechanics resemble XCOM 2, with turn-based combat, cover system and a variety of tactical options. It also boasts an in-depth character customization system, allowing players to build characters with different masteries and abilities. Despite its flow, Troubleshooters shines in its stage design, diverse characters and the balancing strikes between story and gameplay. Fans of tactical turn-based RPGs will likely appreciate the game's depth and enjoy the hours of gameplay it offers. Gear Statics is a surprising spin-off that turns the fast-paced Gears of War series into a tactical turn-based strategy game. Set 12 years before the first Gears of War, it follows Gabe Diaz on a mission to assassinate the Locust scientist Akon. The gameplay is similar to XCOM, with players strategically placing squad members and making tactical decisions in each turn-based mission. One standout feature is the down but not out mechanic allowing squad members a chance to be revived. Executions on down force provide extra actions, a familiar feature from the Gears of War series. The game includes two campaigns and the Jack Campaign DLC introduces new abilities and enemy types. Overall, Gear Static successfully combines the gameplay of XCOM with the action elements of Gears of War, offering a unique experience for fans of both series. Other Side is a unique game that caught the attention primarily because of its art style. Set in a monochrome landscape, the game features unyielding daughters facing off against nightmarish creatures. However, Other Side offers more than just a striking visual aesthetic, it combines unusual lore, challenging tactical battles and a meta-level gameplay centered around sacrifice and replaying to become stronger. However, Other Side has its downsides, the repetitive nature of battles and limited map variety can become monotonous, despite these shortcomings, Other Side shines with its polished presentation, captivating atmosphere and gradually unfolding story. It is perfectly fit for fans of turn-based statics and unique art styles. Wasteland 3, developed by Insile Entertainment, is a tactical turn-based CRPG and the sequel to Wasteland 2. Set in a post-apocalyptic world, the game follows the rangers as they face dire circumstances and are forced to aid the Patriarch of Colorado in exchange for assistance. Players engage in quests, explore the game world and interact with characters to progress the central plot. The game features a familiar CRPG structure with character skills unlocking dialogue options, quests and rewards. The level system grants attribute skill points and perks that enhance gameplay. Despite some flaws regarding the character's depth, Wasteland 3 provides engaging combat, a fun and weird post-apocalyptic world and a satisfying progression system. The Dungeon of Nile Book, The Amulet of Chaos, is a humorous turn-based tactical RPG where players control a group of unconventional heroes on a quest to find the Amulet of Chaos. Developed by Artifact Studio and published by Dear Villagers, the game features strategic combat with cover mechanics and unique abilities for each character. This RPG offers visual stunning environments, a captivating soundtrack, and excellent voice acting enhancing the immersive experience. The lighthearted and humorous writing keeps players engaged, while character progression and customization options adapt to the gameplay. Despite some minor flaws in the UI and pathfinding, the Dungeon of Nile book offers an enjoyable and entertaining RPG experience. 
Soul Asta is a turn based tactical RPG set in a world of Dungeons and Dragons. Players can create an entire party customizing their race, class, abilities, and more. Battles are turn based with green movement and tactical elements like cover and pushing enemies. Solasta offers an immersive D&D experience with its party creation, tactical battles and exploration and the upcoming DLC promises to bring more RPG godness to the basic package. Wildermyth is a delightful RPG that delivers a unique and visually captivating experience. Its handcrafted visuals and papercraft battle maps create a beautiful and theatrical atmosphere. The gameplay is easy to understand, making it accessible and addictive. It successfully achieves its goal of providing a genuine pen and paper or tabletop experience. The game combines RPG, roguelike and strategic elements with turn-based tactical combat, offering a one-of-a-kind experience that is hard to find elsewhere. Wildermyth includes features like transformations, perma sign inventory, a self-balancing enemy roster, and a legacy system that adds to its charm. The only potential downside is in the unbalanced difficulty, with novice players finding harder difficulties too challenging and veteran players finding the gameplay too easy. Anyway, Wildermyth is a highly recommended RPG that surpasses expectations and provides a delightful and addictive gaming experience. Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous is a highly anticipated tabletop inspired RPG. Following the success of its predecessor, Kingmaker, this game brings significant improvements. Despite some initial bugs, the new class lineup and engaging narrative make it worth playing for Pathfinder fans. The game offers a wide selection of classes, equipment and magic spells, allowing for deep customization and versatile gameplay. Additionally, the Mythic Path features adds unique leveling mechanics, enhancing the player's choices and affecting the entire party. Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous is a solid RPG with entertaining gameplay, exciting character progression and an engaging story. Despite its flow, it is a must-play for fans of the gen, although it may not necessarily convert newcomers. Prepare to be immersed in a world of turn-based statics with the highly renowned Expedition series. From the Conquistadors to the Vikings, the early iterations have garnered acclaim worldwide. Now step into the epic setting of the ancient Rome with Expeditions Rome, where players assume the role of a young Legatus and wild power to shape the world through their choices. Players will experience the rise of an ambitious Legatus and navigate a web of decisions that will shape their destiny and the fate of a world around them. Will players forge alliances through diplomacy or conquer their enemies with brute force? The power to determine the curse of history rests in their hands. Expedition Rome has received significant claim for its immersive storytelling and deep strategic gameplay. It seamlessly blends historical authenticity with engaging mechanics, delivering a unique and captivating experience set in the grandeur of ancient Rome. In realm of digital adaptations set in World of Legends, none takes a more intriguing twist than King Other Knight's Tale. Developed by the talented team at Neocore Games, the Statigor RPG flips the script by casting players as Mordred, the nemesis of King Other himself. The narrative incorporates characters from Arthurian legends uniquely and seamlessly. Side quests offer diverse narratives and rewards adding replay value. The game's visual style is dark and greedy, though some environments lack vibrant colors. With immersive sound effects and music, King Other Knight's Tale offers an engaging experience. Overall, it's a fantastic game with minor flaws, captivating players with its gameplay and story. Dancing Dragons game Symphony of War The Nephilim Saga is a tactical RPG that combines elements of classic Fire Emblem games with a unique twist. The gameplay features blocky maps with various terrains where characters can move and perform actions. It emphasizes attacking units and strategic unit customization, allowing players to create squads and assign soldiers with different roles. The game also incorporates campaign management mechanics, including resource gathering, technology advancement and a morale system. 
While the graphics are visually inconsistent, the sprite animations during battles are impressive. The sound design adds to the heroic atmosphere with music that complements the gameplay. Overall, Symphony of War improves upon the Fire Emblem formula while offering a fresh take on tactical RPGs. In Art West 2, players step into a classic Western world infused with supernatural elements following the daring con man Gene Carter as he uncovers the truth behind the fabled ghost train and embarks on a treacherous journey. Players will unleash their bravado, execute precise kills and reignite their action points to dominate their force. Players must build a formidable crew with mysterious playing cards equipping them with potent weapons, explosives and trinkets. As the unnatural leader commands a diverse group of castlingers, witches and enigmatic individuals, shaping their loyalty and unlocking new abilities. Conquer the unforgiving Wild West, exploring snow-covered landscapes and struggling frontier towns while facing brutal choices and their grim consequences. The Dark Frontier Waits, where players' soul steps will be tested. Triangle Strategy is a traditional strategy role-playing game developed by Tomoya Zano, known for his work on Octopath Traveler and Bravely Default, and published by Square Enix Nintendo. Set in a unique and politically charged world, the game revolves around three powerful nations in the aftermath of a recent war. The gameplay of Triangle Strategy follows the typical SRPG formula, featuring alternating battles and story scenes with limited exploration and interactive conversations. It consists of four main phases, the narrative, exploration, scales of conviction and story battles. Combat in Triangle Strategy is a tactical and turn-based with a unique action time system that emphasizes character speed and individual stats. Despite minor flaws such as average voice acting and repetitive narrated summaries, Triangle Strategy excels in its tactical battles, innovative environmental mechanics and streamlined character management. It successfully combines elements from previous SRPGs while introducing its own unique features. Lost Adelands by Ocean Drive Studio is a tactical turn-based strategy role-playing game that follows the story of Aiden, a mercenary captain in a small town within a crumbling empire. The game features alternating battle stages and camp stages with optional battles available during the camp stages. While the story is linear, with few choices, the gameplay offers strategic and tactical depth. The Lost Adelon is a highly recommended SRPG featuring impressive graphics, a user-friendly interface, deep and engaging battles, and meaningful character development and team composition decisions. Despite some minor flaws, it stands out as one of the best tactical games of its year. The revamped version of the beloved tactical role-playing game which inspired even Final Fantasy Tactics. With improved graphics, updated gameplay and enhanced sound, this reimagining stays faithful to the original while offering a fresh experience. Players, whether familiar with Tactics Org or newcomers, will be immersed in its world and intrigue like never before. Players will engage in tactical battles on 3D battlefields with adaptive enemy AI and customize their units with endless combinations of classes, equipment, skills and magic. Enjoy improved playability, high definition graphics, fully voiced cutscenes and a re-recorded musical score. Players will unlock the World Tarot to explore alternative paths and rewind moves with the Chariot Tarot, delving into endgame content like the challenging Palace of the Dead and preparing for a world of endless stories and intrigue in this reborn crown jewel of tactical RPGs. Marvel's Midnight Suns is a tactical superhero RPG developed by Firaxis that combines turn-based combat with deck-building mechanics. The game features an action-heavy combat system and dialogue-driven character development. The main plot revolves around Lilith, the mother of demons who possess a threat to Earth, and the player known as the Hunter must assemble a team of superheroes, including the X-Men, the Avengers and the Midnight Suns to stop her. While the main story is forgettable, the game excels in combat. Each character has a unique set of cards that can be swapped and upgraded, providing strategic depth. 
Mission parameters vary, offering a variety of objectives and allowing players to choose heroes based on their strengths. The combat is fast-paced, flashy and engaging with the shared card plays pool adding flexibility and tactics. Another iconic series, Fire Emblem, released the new chapter called Engage at the beginning of the year. Fire Emblem Engage offers enjoyable gameplay, strategic mechanics and appealing graphics. Even if not all changes are successful, the game is recommended for Fire Emblem fans. The story is criticized for being flat and the cards are considered weaker compared to the previous entries like Tree Houses. However, Engage is prized for capturing the essence of the Fire Emblem series and maintaining its traditional elements. It offers a solid and well-crafted strategy experience with exciting battles, surprises on the battlefield and additional characters. The production values including voice, work and visuals are commended. Overall, this SRPG is considered a reliable and satisfying addition to the series, although not necessarily excellent. The Last Spell by Ishtar Games is a game that combines turn-based tactics with tower defense. Set in a post-apocalyptic world, players control a team of heroes defending humanity against the twisted remnants of their own countrymen. The game features procedurally generated characters with different weapon types and the objective is to survive waves of monster attacks until the final night. As players progress, they'll face increasingly challenging enemies and unlock better upgrades using Tainted Essence. These upgrades provide more gear options, improve the starting base and unlock additional buildings. The Last Spell is a tactical RPG for fans of meta-progression-driven roguelites. Despite some balancing flaws, it offers engaging gameplay and many options. War Tales is an immersive turn-based RPG that takes players on a journey through a massive open world. Set in a war-torn land, players assume the role of a mercenary leader tasked with exploring the vast landscapes, taking on contracts and managing a band of companions. The combat in War Tales is turn-based and revolves around the timeline of turns, where players choose which characters to control based on the upcoming turns of the enemies. Strategic positioning of characters before battles is crucial and players can use different classes and skills to create unique and diverse fighting styles. War Tales offers an engaging and immersive RPG experience with its vast open world, morally ambiguous choices and strategic turn-based combat. With its attention to details, diverse locations and impactful decision making, the game provides players with the freedom to shape their band of mercenaries and leave a lasting legacy. Step into the dystopian future where corporations reign supreme and blood-sucked reality shows dominate the entertainment landscape. In Shogunners, players embody Scarlet Martillo, a contestant driven by a thirst for revenge. This turn-based tactical game delivers a creative gameplay experience complete with dynamic level design and a diabolical show director who can sway the tides of battles. Shogunners has received positive reviews for its addictive and satisfying combat, accessible gameplay and engaging narrative. This video ends here, let me know what you think about these games in the comments below. Remember to hit like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel and also consider supporting me through all my pages. Wish you the best, ciao!